For the last three days, we have been holding our 11th national conference in Chennai. This is the second time we are holding our conference in Chennai. And in this conference, after deliberation, a new committee has been elected unanimously. And in this conference, employees from the public sector banks, private banks, foreign banks, Reserve Bank of India, NABARD, regional rural banks, cooperative banks attended, along with permanent employees. Many employees who are working in casual nature, in contractual and business correspondence also attended. More than 550 delegates and observers from different parts of the country attended this conference. Ahead of the conference, on August 11, a seminar was organized. Kisan Sabha leader Ashok Dawli spoke on the advent of communalism as the biggest danger for the secular democratic republic of India. Economist Dr. Tejal Kanitkar spoke on scientific temper and climate change. All India Insurance Employees Association leader K. Swaminathan spoke on financial sector reforms and their implications for Indian economy. The conference began with a rally on August 12. Tapansen, the General Secretary of the Centre of Indian Trade Unions, inaugurated the conference. He said, the fight to protect public sector banks is a fight to protect a self-reliant economy. All India Democratic Women's Association President P.K. Srimati spoke at the Women's Conference on August 13. We have taken 23 resolutions. Most important of them are that we will fight against the privatization move of the government we will oppose outsourcing. We will fight for adequate recruitment in the banks. We are also concerned about smooth customer service. Now we have taken resolution for independence of RBI to maintain and strengthen DFI character of NABARD. We are opposing the government's attack on the cooperative banking sector. And also we will struggle against the privatization move of the regional rural banks. In this country, due to our long struggle since 1991, when global financial crisis came, our financial system was saved. Again, we have witnessed that important banks in Europe and America has been closed. Now we are concerned about this and we want to assure the people of the country that the bank employees movement will continue its endeavor to protect the banking, to protect the hard-earned money of the depositors and so that banks remain safe. And in this conference, the members, delegates and observers, they have resolved that they will fight till the end to look that the government's privatization move is defeated. So we are thankful to the inhabitants of Chennai also. They have extended their cooperation. The media also give us enough campaigning so that the news of this conference reached the common people and with the support of the common people and common customers, we hope that we can save the banking industry and the Indian financial system from the corporates who are being helped by this government of India to acquire the financial system.